Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world right now. I hope you're having a great day. So today it's another day, another video, and it's gonna be about um, how to avoid scams when you're traveling. Uh, I'm not just talking about traveling to Philippines, but this is gonna be general, okay? So as a tra uh, as a traveler, it is very easy to think that we are very smart to to avoid getting ripped off. But the truth is that even if how much how like how much we tried not to be ripped off, it really happens to us. And shady people or scammers love to take advantage of tourists. And if you are not careful or very cautious you will be very easy to become their victim so right now I will be talking about the very common travel scams and how to avoid it so um, I, I, I know that I already mentioned this in my previous video uh, the first one that I'm going to talk about is broken taxi meter so Taxi drivers, like near the airport, hotel, or anything, cab, are known to pull this kind of scam. So it can happen not just, again, not just only in Philippines, but anywhere if you travel. So when you get into a taxi and they start a drive, the driver will inform you that their meter is broken or it's not working, and they will give you a ridiculous price. They will give you a price that it's very far from like it's basically it's too much from what is what it is going to be and how you can avoid it is negotiate rate if that really happens if their meter is broken you have to negotiate rates ahead of time and you have to make sure as well or let them know that they're or, or check if their meter is really not working i also suggest that you uh try to get the body number the body number or the plate number of the taxi just to make sure that you have a reference and but I just want to give a, a disclaimer not all taxi driver are are scammer or fraud because my grandpa is a taxi and a GP driver and he don't do that uh, it, it, it besides when we were kids he always picked us up using his taxi and then he will let some of my classmates ride so it's again not all taxi. I, I'm very proud for those taxi that are working so hard to feed their family and not doing any side side bit or modus operandi. <laughs> Next one is close hotel. So some of this is this boils down to a taxi again that will scam you big time they will tell you if you tell them oh can you bring me to waterfront can you bring me to radisson or any hotel they will tell you that oh ma'am it's it's booked and um it's closed i i can suggest another hotel for you and what they will be getting is they will actually get a commission if they bring you to the hotel uh that they referred to you guys and it's more expensive so uh, how to avoid it is before you travel, before the date of your travel, you need to make sure that you call the hotel. You have to confirm or email them that they will not be closing on that day, the, the, the moment that you land uh, at the airport. So, you know, just to make sure. Uh, free necklace or how do you call that? When you arrive in the airport, they give you something to wear. Or if you go to the hotel, they give you something to wear. Or anything. If you just go to any destination like a tourist spot or beaches, mountains, they'll give you something to wear like a necklace or bracelet or a ring. And they will say that it's, it's for good luck, it's for your safety, it's for free. But then when you have it, they will start asking for the payment. And if you refuse to, to pay it, if you want to return it, they will make a scene. They will... Because I tried that. I think that was my friend's birthday. We actually went to the church and uh, this old woman tried to put like a pin, a pin with a Jesus something on it. She, he, she tried to put it on my friend's uh, t-shirt. And I was like, uh, no, 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 we are just wanna, we just wanna buy candles. But then he said, oh, this is for good luck. It's his birthday, right? Uh, blah blah blah. And it's it's okay, it's okay. After we pay the candle, he said that, she said that, oh, you lacking fifty pesos more, for what? For that, for the for the lucky charm. 
So they will do that to you guys. So be careful. How to avoid it is do not accept anything that they will put into you. <laughs> like anything. Bracelet, shirts, ring, a pin or something. No. Refuse it. Uh, how do you call this? Fake police officer? So I, I got this from an article online and I just want to read this. So the fake police officer scam is popular in many large cities. Uh, a person will approach a tourist and officer illicit items like drugs. Oh! This happens as well. Like they will let, they will pretend that they want to check you or do something. Like hey, can we check? Can we do a body check? And then after that, they put something on your pocket and they will pretend that they see a drug but it's coming from them. So, oh, oh, I saw this in your pocket. So, tip for that is never hand over your wallet or passport to someone and also do not uh, agree if they want to, to do a body check on you guys because I think that's illegal. If they don't have anything to a paperwork, that ask you like if for example uh check your car i think that's illegal to check your car without something a paper coming from the police they are allowed to check it something like that so yes don't let someone touch you and then a common <laughs> a common travel scam in major tourist area area uh, this uh, the title of this one is attraction is closed so they will tell you that if you want to go to somewhere, for example, you want to go to Kawasan Falls, just an example, and the driver will tell you, oh, they're closed, or the tour guide will tell you, oh, they're closed right now, they're under renovation, but I have a better place for you to, to visit. So they will bring you there, cost you more money, uh, and then you, but of course, as a tourist, you don't have a choice because they give you all this, you know, sales talk, something like that. So. How to avoid that is, instead of taking the local's word, head to the ticket counter or shop and see for yourself. Or ask someone else nearby for confirmation. Ask someone. If you don't trust your tour guide or the driver, ask someone who lives there. On that, uh, on that tourist spot that you want to visit, if they are really close. And then, beggars. Uh, usually blind or pregnant sometimes accompanied by a helper and they will ask for your money this happens usually guys in Cologne and in Mango Avenue in Fuente Circle so how to avoid this kind of stuff is that if you go to Mango and you want to drink or chill uh, just don't bring your expensive stuff and just bring enough money to pay for your bill on that night don't bring too much don't wear your gold jewelry or anything that attract their eyes so don't do that that's how to avoid it okay group uh not the, that, that one hold on guys uh, i think that's it i think that's it guys so i hope you guys like this video leave a comment down below if you have anything to to add please don't hesitate to write the comments so i have also knowledge I've been telling this or this kind of information has been uploaded to my channel like Dangers of Partners in the Philippines so you can check it out as well. But right now, I just want to give you the, the summary, basic summary just to, for, for my new subscriber, you can check this video. So guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you. I really love you guys. Hope to see you guys next time. And don't forget, be nice. Bye!